Hello, welcome back. Today we are covering circles. Hip circles and chest circles. But not the army. That'll be another video. Okay, so we're going to work on the circles. And what we need for that one is the slide that we have already covered, right? So the slide is very important for this one. And the same for the chest, of course, the ribcage slide too. Okay, so what I want you to think about is obviously the belly dance posture. So please check out the video if you haven't done yet, just to keep yourself safe and your lower back protected. Okay, so for the circle, what I just mentioned is the sliding to the side. That's very important on this one here. Okay, so you want to be sliding to the side. Okay, but you also want to be able to bring your weight to the toes of your feet. Still keep tucked under so that you are protected. Don't do this, okay? Very bad for the lower back, okay? So you want to be here, so you're pushing toward the toes of your um, feet forward, okay? So from here, where you do the slides, I want you to be able to go over here. The knees are still soft. They're not pushed through, okay? They're just lengthened because I'm pushing forward. Okay, so from here, you go back to neutral. And now I want you to stick out your booty only slightly to the heels of your feet. Okay, only slightly. Can you see how my toes are lifting as I'm doing this? This is where you want to aim. There, not further. Okay, so I don't want you to go here. Not while you're learning the circle, okay? So you've got this lovely neutral position here. You've got the bringing it forward and you've got the bringing it back here, just to the heels, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to imagine a round clock, okay? So you would have your 12 o'clock right in front of you, you've got the six o'clock behind you, and then you've got your um, three and nine o'clock and you can go anti-clockwise or clockwise I don't really mind but you're sliding over to one side again keep your knees nice and soft okay you don't have to bend them but keep them soft and not locked okay so you're sliding over to one side and then from here I want you to aim to your 12 o'clock in front of you so you're kind of cutting a corner here you're going from the side here to the front. Again, remember that you need to be tucked under. Then I want you to go over to the other side. And then I want you to go behind your heels here. So from, from the side, it's going to look like this. You're going to slide over to one side. You bring it over to the front. Protection here. To the side and to the back. Okay, so we do that a few times. Doesn't matter which side you start off. You go into the side, bringing it forward, to the side, and to the back. To the side, bring it forward, to the side, bring it back. Keep the posture in mind at all times. Starting the other way. Side, forward, side, bring it back. Side, forward, side, bring it back. Okay? So now we're going to round it out. So instead of cutting the corners, we are going to try and combine the whole thing in a rounder way. So we're connecting the dots without cutting the corners. Okay, so you're starting out to the side. And now I want you to almost think about going around your foot to get to the middle. And then from here, you want to go around your toes to the side. And then here you're aiming to go behind your heels and then back to the side here. So just do that very slowly. Going from there, you should feel your body weight shift. 
So as I'm over here, my weight is on that foot and mostly towards the heel until I get and slide out to the side. Now the weight is more on the outside of the foot. I'm now pressing forward and now as you're here, you need both feet on the floor because now you're here and your weight needs to be supported by both feet. Then you slide over again and you have your weight only on the other foot. From here you push back. The minute I get to the middle, I need my other foot again. Okay, so from here, push forward. Your weight shifts as you go around. Feel that under your feet. As you go in around, your feet should feel more or less attached to the floor depending on where your hip is growing okay so you are bringing it around nice and big this is not an internal circle it is not this okay so we're really going around it okay so you're really using the hip to move yourself around your feet okay so from the side one more time you're here and you're bringing it around while you keep the rest of your body nice and still, okay? So this is just happening on the hips here. And the other way around. And really pay attention to what your feet feel like because the pressure points will change, okay? Keep your knees nice and soft. So that is the circle. You go in around. And then you can also travel with it at some point, but depending on where you are in your journey, you know, um, learn the circle first. So that's the hips done. We can do the same thing with the rib cage or chest. Okay? So, again, you have already learned the slide in the Crash Course for Beginners series. If not, you can always go and check that one out because it is part of this move. So you kind of need to know how to do the slide. So what we're doing is the same as what we did with the hips. Make sure that your belly dance posture is in place. Okay. Now you're going to slide over to one side. From here, we're going to do exactly the same like we did with the hips. We're now drawing to the front your 12 o'clock. Okay, cutting the corners. Then you go into the other side where your shoulder is coming out. And then from here, you want to draw inward. So you want to push back, right? I'm gonna show you in a minute from the side. Then from there, you're going to the side again. You're going 12 o'clock again. You're three or nine, depending on which way you started. And then back, right? So. You're sliding, you're bringing it forward. So this is not a lift, okay, different move. So you're going from here, the slide, you're now drawing forward. Again, like you wanna draw, just like with the hips, where you go in towards your toes, it's the same thing, but with your chest now, going that way, not up, okay? Different circle, you can do one up as well, but we're not covering this now. So you're drawing out, you're drawing forward, you're drawing to the side, and then back. Okay, so you have a little bit of a roundness here, but you don't want to do this, okay? So it's just to demonstrate um, that you know where you're aiming to, okay? You're doing side, forward, side, and back, okay? So we're starting this right now. We're going to go side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back. Now we are also rounding this up. So we're going to go this way now. We're going to slide over to the front, over to the side, then round to the back and around again. And we're trying to isolate this so that nothing else is moving, okay? 
So you're here and you're going like this. Okay, so your hips are really still while you're doing this. So you're going round and round and round. And if you're still here, that's good. You take your time. It's a video, so you can go back to it and practice as it fits your needs. Okay, so anytime that you want to revisit something, just get back to the video and then give it a go. I'm going to add some music now and we're just going to do some um, practice on the hips and the chest circles. Okay?